Hello guys, Christian Meter here and today I want to teach you guys how to float on your back in water. The first thing you need to think about is that you have air in your lungs and it's this air that helps you to float in the water. If you breathe out all the air in your lungs, you won't be able to float. So when you breathe, you need to only breathe out a little bit of the air you have in your lungs. So you use short breaths. Do not empty your lungs, then you will sink like this. So to begin with, you want to grab a hold of the side of the pool. Then you want to lay back, fill your lungs with air and then try to float in the water. Since you're holding on to the side of the pool, it will be much easier to float than if you were only floating in the water. When you manage to do this, and this feels comfortable, you can go over to the stairs and rest your feet on the stairs or at the side of the pool. And you can get a friend to hold your back and make sure it doesn't sink underwater. If you don't have a friend, you can try and do what I do here, which is hold on to the side of the stairs and then push myself slowly out. This can be a bit tricky in the beginning, but just take your time and make sure that you don't go too fast. Just rest your legs on the side of the pool and go slowly and let go with the arm. And remember, you have to have air in your lungs, so don't breathe out all the air you have in the lungs. Just do small, short breaths. When this is comfortable for you, you can go over to the deeper end of the pool and you can try the same thing there. You just rest your legs on the side of the pool and just float in the water. Do this until you find it's comfortable and you're not getting stressed by doing this. The next step is to take a floating element like you see I have in my hand here. If you don't have that, you can use a water bottle filled with air or anything that floats well. You then want to place this underneath your back. This will help you float when you go out and let go of the side of the pool. Just lay this underneath your back and try to float around in the pool. If you feel that you're sinking, use something that floats a bit better. When you feel comfortable doing this, then you can just try to move this a bit further down your back. Put it underneath your bottom. And as you feel this is comfortable, you just move it further and further down until it's totally by your heels. The next now is that you put it in between your legs and you squeeze your legs together. This will make sure it doesn't float away. When you have it like this, less of the element will be underneath the water. And I want you to move less and less of the element in the water so it's sticking out more and more. I want you to gradually move the floating element uh, out of the water. So less and less of the element is floating in the water and is more and more of your body doing all the floating. We are now going to try and float without any help or assistance. Then you want to lay on your back and you want to move your feet like you see I do here. You also move your hands a bit to help you stay afloat. If you see the movement I'm doing here now, this will help you stay up in the water. Try this in the shallow end of the pool first and then go to the deeper end as you feel more and more comfortable doing this. Now you should be completely floating in the water. The more you do this, the more comfortable you will get with it and you can just have fun floating around in the water and later we will make a video where we show you how to float on your stomach, how to thread water and how to start swimming. If you found this helpful, please subscribe to the channel as I'm making a video like this every week from now on. Also, if there's any video you would like me to make about water skills, please let me know in the comment field and I'll see if I can make a video for you.